What's up, team? What's up, fellow leaders? Hello, class. How are you? Another discussion board, and yes, I am back. Don't you hate? Appreciate. Appreciate. Uh, anyways, so, the prompt. Discuss methods to promote shared governance by a nursing staff in a healthcare organization. Explore the staffing process at your institution. So before I even get to discussing my institution, because um, we're going to get there, I do want to talk about the whole magnet situation. And I want to talk to you about that because every hospital this side of the world wants to become a magnet hospital. And what is a magnet hospital? Who knows what a magnet hospital is? Is. But you do get certified and you do get this this title as a magnet hospital from the American Nurses Credentialing Center. They are they are in the process or they have just finished changing the criteria of what a magnet hospital should be like, right? And I just want to talk to you guys about one of the aspects that they changed because it, it speaks directly to this topic. All right, so the American Nursing Nurses Credentialing Center is pleased to present the next generation model for its esteemed magnet recognition program this new model is des designed to provide a framework for nursing practice and research in the future as well as serving as a roadmap for organizations seeking to achieve magnet recognition and one of them aspects I'm only gonna talk because you you all all have the website so you'll see how much information they have but I want to mention just one um, um, aspect of the switch that they are doing right and that aspect is the transformational leadership um, portion <clears throat> so bear with me here and let me give you a little bit of what they want in the magnet hospitals moving forward the organization's senior leadership team creates the vision for the future and the system and environment necessary to achieve that vision. They must enlighten the organization as to why change is necessary and communicate each department's part in achieving that change. They must listen, challenge, influence, and affirm as the organization makes its way into the future. Gradually, this transformational this transformational way of thinking should th take root in the organization and become even stronger as other leaders adapt to this way of thinking. A Continuing on, the intent of this model comp um, component is no longer just to solve problems, fix broken systems, and empower staff, but to actually transform the organizations to meet the future. Magnet recognized organizations today strive for stabilization. However, healthcare refor um, reformation called for a type of controlled dis destabilization that births new ideas and innovation. I love this i think this is very smart it's unique it's a great way to to press upon to uh, encourage hospitals to give their nurses some power uh, uh, you know uh, and allow them to make changes for the actual organization not just for their practice not just for you know patient care but for the actual organization so getting back to the prompt of the prompt to the actual discussion talking about my specific so question number one explain how your unit institution structures their staffing plan and i have to say our unit is very team oriented we do get to pick our own staff uh, our own um our own schedules uh, a month in advance and we have our schedules a month at a time um which is i think very 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 good and i think they do it by seniority um uh, first come first serve but then they go to seniority after that right um and then question number two how are any issues resolved and the truth is there isn't that many issues because the staff and the management, the supervisors allow us to take care of the schedule. They they know, I mean, they need to okay any switches, any, you know, uh, picking up extra hours, any time off, any paid time off, all of that stuff they have to okay. But they do allow us nurses to take care um, of the majority of the heavy lifting. So if I want to take a day off, if I want an extra day off, if I need a switch, if I want my weekend off, I just need to find someone who will be able to switch with me 99.999 percent of the time they'll say yes unless that person is like 70 hours overtime and they're like q i'm sorry can you find someone else but that has never happened and i have never heard of that happening on my unit so uh, chances of it happening is near zero how does the current process promote shared government um it is shared government governance. It, it just is. I mean, it doesn't promote it. It just is shared governance. It's not the manager telling us who's going to cover my shift. It's not the manager telling us what days I need to work. It's not nothing. It's shared governance. 
we put our requests in, we put what we want in, they okay it unless there's a problem. It's shared governance, there's no promotion, it is the truth. And then last but not least, can the process be improved and how? Maybe, but I don't know how. So that's why I say maybe. I, I don't wanna say no because I always think there's always a better way, but at the same time, I don't have an answer to the how. I just believe the process that we have at the hospital that I work at is great. So you're gonna say Q. You just talked in the beginning of the uh, of the video all about this, you know, f future way of looking in the future, and then you talked about staffing in the second part. Where did they connect? Where did they connect? Is they want to empower nurses. So that first portion, the transformational leadership portion of what the A A um the A N C C is it the A N C C or is it A A N C C. Um, so that first portion, what the ANCC wants for magnet hospitals is to empower their nurses, to allow their leaders to think of um, uh, of teamwork and shared governance in a different way so the organization changes. And it does begin with the nurses. It begins with the actual employees. So when you empower the nurses and you empower the employees to do the simple task, simple, it's very difficult, it's not simple, but if you empower the employees to do the stuff in the bottom, the things that they really, means a lot to them, like make their own schedule, like do their own requests, like all of that stuff, it builds. And then just to finally end, I'm sorry it's taking so long, but to end, I am part of a uh, shared governance. It's called UBC, Unit Based Council, on my unit. And in that, in that unit based council, we do talk about things that can change on our unit. And if it changes, if we make a change based in that unit based council, if we make a change on our unit and that you, and it's, very good and it's seeing progress and everyone's loving it we move that over to uh the head of the hospital we tell the president we tell the chief nursing office we tell them all and then if they think that it's something that the entire hospital can do and it's not specific to the um, to the cardiac unit then they move forward with it um i think all of this stuff is intertwined thank you guys for taking your time to listen to me love it catch you all later next discussion deuces